the genesis of the Entebbe Express Highway was hatched 14 years ago when a master plan for Kampala's transport system was discussed to allow infrastructure to match the growth of the greater Kampala area. Engineer David Luyimbazi, the man behind the creative team that designed the road project, says a plan had to be devised to ease traffic circulation. From previous studies that we have carried out, we, we had carried out in Yonra and the Ministry of Works, it was evident that, that the co cause of congestion in Kampala is not by traffic that has business in Kampala. It's because the traffic in, that, that has no business in Kampala has no option but use the road system in Kampala. The feasibility study was later completed by the Chinese in order to acquire the 350 million US dollar loan for the project. Before the construction could start, design adjustments such as shoulders, concrete barriers instead of steel barriers were suggested. It was also necessary to ensure that all bridges were consistent. You could, the Nile Bridge is designed by Japanese to British standard, which we use for designing bridges. So we had to adopt British standards for the design of our bridges as well on this road, so that again there is consistency in terms of durability and support. Construction began in 2012. It was expected to end after four years. However, land compensation wrangles delayed the pace of construction. And uh, whereas it was viable, it would be viable to build a six-lane road, we had budget constraints. The amount of money we were accessing from the Chinese government was only 350 million, and government would top up with 126 million, making 476 million project. This could only construct a, a, a four-lane project. Uganda has imported so many cars over the years, and as a result, traffic jam has become a burden. Now, with the building of this 51-kilometer road, it's hoped that road users will save time as they head to the airport and back into the city. Because it will now take about 30 minutes to get from Entebbe to, to Kampala, uh, definitely the cost of fuel, the cost of fuel will go down. And uh, if people can reach Kampala within the shortest time, definitely it will increase, decrease the cost of doing business. Now that Entebbe Express Highway, which has a 20-year lifespan, is expected to sustain vehicles moving at 80 kilometers and 100 kilometers per hour uninterrupted, bicycles, border borders and pedestrians will be prohibited from using the road. However, it's not clear how much each individual car will pay at the toll. Andranitwe, NTV, Kampala.